Alright, hello and welcome back to the Red Dead Redemption playthrough. This is part 13. Let's go. Eres Llorón Maricón Medastasco. Hablas leotán, pero eres transparente. Estarás aplaudiendo cuando mi cabeza está en pelado, ¿verdad? No, 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 mi excelencia. Mis hombres y yo estamos trabajando noche y día por su honor. ¿Honor? ¿Qué eres, un muchacho? Jovencito sin vergüenza. ¿Qué diablo es este cabrón? Esta es también una hota de fin reyes. La mena es Spock to you. Frente a México. Hola, señor. Hola, gringo. So you are the bounty hunter, ¿eh? Huh? Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Ah, perhaps you come to hunt me, huh? Your country loves to make trouble in mine. Perhaps, but it isn't so. Ah, perhaps I should tie you to a horse and let it drag you around town. Or let the dogs fight you, huh? <laughs> then see what you say. I'd say the same thing. I'm here to bring two men to justice. Nothing more. Your politics or ideas of entertainment are not my concern. Yeah, I suppose not. Pero son tuyos. Sinceramente espero que me encontraste alguna compañía más interesante que ese bruja que me traíste anoche. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you know anything of the men I'm looking for? The escuela is from this province. His uh, father was a borracho, drunk, who worked as a laborer, a land cultivated by my uncle. Men like that are natural allies for Reyes. My people have lived and worked here for a hundred years. We brought civilization. These people, these fucking monkeys, despise us. We brought them God. They turned their back on him. Now I fight to help them from themselves, to save them from themselves. I see in their faces. They would kill me if they could. <laughs> Is she only a tyrant? That is the way it is. These people need a ruler. Well, sorry to hear that. Sorry? Why be sorry? It is a way of mankind. A fight between two forces. Que sara, sara. What will be, will be. But I know one thing, Senor Marston. Force, <laughs> force, must be used if you are to have your own way. I'm sure. Now, Perhaps you can uh, do me a favor while I find these men. After we find the men, then I'll help in any way I can. Ah, ta, 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 ta. You are in no position to negotiate. Now, por favor, a bunch of these idiots men are fighting at Tesoro Azul. And you head there and you then your support. Also, ¿cuántas veces voy a decirte? No ponga detrás de mí. ¿Qué eres, cabrón? No está mi sombra. Vaya. I sent some men ahead. You will meet them there. Let's go. So I finally met your great leader. He certainly lives up to his reputation. What would you know about leadership? Only that most can't handle power. It is easy to criticize power when you have never had it yourself. Maybe it is because you have never been in the presence of a strong man before. I have seen the pictures of your country in the newspapers. Men grinning and decorating themselves like women. Vanity is the legacy the British left behind. Look, I don't know the fella. Just saying. That's how he treats his own men. Coronel Allende controls any situation he's in because he knows that situation can never be allowed to control him. It is what a leader must do. And in any case, you had not noticed, we're fighting a war. We're all under a lot of pressure. Pressure to find young girls? The Coronel needs recreation like everyone else. He does not have time to court women. He's waging a war on ignorance. And he's impatient for victory. He's trying to inspire wisdom in those more stupid than himself. We must hurry. You Americans think you can ride? Do you? Come on! I got a head start. <laughs> Go!
Hello, hombre, ayuda. I hope you fight better than this little girl, Gringo. <laughs> Let's have some fun. Just to get women for a Linde? <laughs> no, that's just a bonus. This village is riddled with rebels. Make sure they don't have homes to come back to. There are fire bottles over there. Use them to burn down some of these houses. And what makes you think I'd do that? You want to find Javier Escuela, don't you? John, you help in Mexico. Vámonos, muchachos! Buen trabajo! Para vigilar el gringo, capitán de Santa. You heard the captain? The fire bottle. Which is close. Land in is closer. No need for that, partner. Open the door, dang it. Fine, I'll jump forward. Here we 
me. Yeah! Oh, hello, wagon. Hello, person walking about me. Oh, no, nope, no, nope. it was on the other side of the On the other side of the wall. On the side of the wall. Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier, Señor Escuela, is Javier, to see? No sé, señor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio, is that a con? Uh, Randy Americano? Yo no sé. Yo no sé. No. Again, I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman. A teacher. A human being. Not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than him. your apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pay me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir. And I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. You can take the train with me or ride yourself. Makes no odds to me. Run to the train, run to the train. The train's right here, yeah. Really? I'm need of my help than I thought. Is that so? Because some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk. Hello, trade. It's the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrugada and ride from there. Can I stick to the local There should be some horses for us across the way. I really want to cross anything. 
Find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask around when we get there, but we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered oh. for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts, not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. Work. Here we are. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? A little bit. Slow up. All right, let's find this Carlos guy. Piggy. Huh? <laughs> We're here for Luisa. Is she still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. I will keep them talking, senor. The rest <clears throat> I will leave to do. All right, let's find Luisa. I don't know how they don't see us coming down here. Little crap. Prepare to die, amigo! <laughs> 
Stand back, damn it! Here goes! I feel like we'd be dead. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here before any more of them show up. Interesting friend. Looks like Carlos left us some horses. Come on. With my horse. Okay. Yes. Come horses. Go before any more of them show up. Keep going. Come on, come on. Jingle your mother. Yeah. Cutting it fine. Work. Whoa there. Luisa, gracias a Dios. Thank you for saving me. You're good men, friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Gasquel one of the men holding you? No, I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you, John, he's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Yeah. 